brings it in. Everybody that lives here is underneath that. They're 1701 natives. And that's why you get a lot of Ishnabis here. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always been with us. You know, the, the Chippewas mm -hmm. come all over and they live here. The ones that didn't agree is above the, the heights of land. You know, our watershed. Yeah. That's the way that was. And, and here we've always... So we moved in here, that, uh, that's uh, 1784. Mm -hmm. they, was, they were here, they were at Trenton. Did you realize yeah, that? They yeah. were at Trenton. And they moved in all the around us. Half my people is that. Then I hooked on another one. <laughs> <laughs> I made another one. <laughs> well, I know the city of Toronto did a big they don't own this. They know that this isn't theirs. They know that they're a false, false governing body. They're terrorists. Well, they they announced it. They, that whole thing in that article. The city council realized they know and this is a whole bunch of different nations. <laughs> we got a there's our land together. Yeah. See, you, see what what what'll happen? What what they'll try to do to you? They'll say that 17 will only affects the the Iroquois. You know. Oh, I, yeah. I will, I will. I have no part of the division of our people. Yeah. And that's all that is. They want to divide you and I and make us. Exactly. The, and and uh, that's what Stacy said. Yeah. I can't that's do business it. with you. I can't do business with my wife. Yeah. It's like. Oh yeah. Did I'm not sure who got the letter. Did Junior get the letter or did I get the letter? <laughs> right. Well, a letter got sent. A letter got sent to to a Ken Hughes at the Danforth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so which one of us was it? Yeah. If it's if it got sent to the if it's according to their own rules they got sent to Junior, mm -hmm. so therefore they Stacy's telling a Mohawk that he can't do business in Toronto, mm -hmm. he can't exercise his rights. I think that's pretty grandiose of somebody. And if not, then he's telling, telling his own people he can't do it. Yeah, which is even a, like the bank council said, you can't exercise your rights on your land. Only the bank council's got rights, he says. You're not even allowed. They, all, all, they even made it like uh, he trademarked the name, where it's like you can't even use Mississauga of the new credit. He's like, well, you can't use that. He's telling his own people he can't okay. name his store after his own nation. You don't see Justin Trudeau telling people he can't name your store Canada. The Canadian, Can Canada Canadian Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Name great Canadian bingo company. You can't own in the name of a nation. Like, how does that? No one does. You can't just do that. Like, well, actually, I do now. <laughs> but that's just to counter him, his bullshit. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I just did it so he can't tell every, anybody that no more. Yeah, exactly. So I went and trademarked it. I said, yeah. well, you can't tell anybody that now. <laughs> I can't wait till they see that. Because they, they, uh, Jack said, they're, they're, they're dying. once you got it, own it, they can't take it from you. It's free now. Yeah. Even one time I was on the subway, I don't know when I read this, but... They were having signs for the Indigenous History Month. I think this was last year. And they, there was one sign I read. It was talking about the Mississauga New Credit. How the St. Lawrence Market was actually our fish market where we used to sell fish. They built the St. Lawrence Market on our Mississauga New Credit fish market. So, like, we can even That's go down there and sell fish. Like, they put it on their TTC subway poster. I forgot. Oh, we're selling it. Like, yeah. I, I'm telling you, I don't think they stand a chance there of winning. There we go. There we go. Why? Yeah. Well, I I take loads of fish. I tied to 600 pounds of Phillips across the border. Mm. See, they, the border doesn't stop us. I know. Because they, the other side, they, they honor that, on, uh, that that we can take fish back and forth. So now we got a lot of people coming up from Akwazesne, Kanawaga. Before, they were, were they were separate. And now they're all coming up to our red fish at Tandanaga. So, and we're fishing, we're going back and forth. But I never, I never went to the packing house to see if it will buy. 
because I'm certain, and that's that's my next trick. <laughs> I think we need to open a, a port of entry right there. It's where your farm is. <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. tell you, man. Can you ship it right across? And we, I'm game to do it. Mm -hmm. Is all the fish from the bay? Yeah. 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 But I don't want to just sell fish over there. I want to. I want to open the whole damn market. Why should we have to go to their customs? Why should we have to pay duties and and that they're 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 imposing shit on us that don't don't even exist in our world? Yeah, it's all a duty free store. Yeah, duty uh, duty free. See, the uh, customs has that. Really? Well, why can't we have it? Yeah, well, that's duty, why I, I sent you those Iranian things. I sent it to Tom Tuesday. Uh, in uh, Iran had the oil uh, tanker going to Syria and America told Greece hey seize Iranians oil tanker because they don't let Iranians trade like us right and so what Iran did was they they seized one of our Greece seized one of our tankers we so we we're like okay and we seized two Greek tankers that were in the Persian Gulf mm -hmm. so we can't trade you can't trade mm -hmm. nobody's living on them and we move on for 24 hours it's our island back again yeah that's how Mike Mitchell, and they for them, you know, Mike Mitchell, that's how they went. When he was a kid, they went there and they took back, uh, I think, seven, eight islands. Over in Akwazasani, that's how they got. At Akwazasani. Mm -hmm. See, that St. Lawrence comes down like that. These are the See, last all islands in the mouth of the St. Lawrence. All them uh, ships and stuff can come right straight up to us. You know, right from uh, wh wherever, you know. So they can't, so we're, we're not, they haven't really got us blocked in. Because in them treaties, that's that's our, our waterway too, eh? Yeah, yeah I know. I want. I want to. I really want to make that waterway the, work. The closest port to Europe and Asia is the Port of Churchill in Manitoba, and and to get to the Port of Churchill, you have to go through none of it waters, which is all, none of it is. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's not a province; it's a territory, and it's ran by Inuks, right? The Inuit. So that's like, the closest one. The closest to port. The closest port to Europe and Asia is the Port of Churchill. That's how Hudson Bay Company blew up. Oh, because of the, how close they were. Oh. Yeah, that's why Hudson Bay Company blew up. Even so. though it was so damn cold. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of interesting. Red, no single. But when that started going, everything went really big. The rail they brought, it. and then when they when they wanted the double, when they put the double track in, that was from coast to coast. And I put the double track in. They made sure I went the other side of Maryville. <laughs> Because that's where the money was, eh? <laughs> all the little towns and villages and everything. Getting on, off the yeah. train and all that shit. Because oh, right? we had uh, a couple of train stations on reserve. You can get on and off. Everybody travel for free on the train. Yeah. That was the agreement. You can do it on here, but we don't. We get to travel for nothing. Did we go everybody to, use the train and travel. We could go to Kingston that way or, or Toronto. Come in, get into Toronto and... All we had to do you still get the travel for free? No. Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, yeah. But see, the, as soon as they got the double track in, it went out. Well, Chris, well, I don't know, maybe a hundred years ago. As soon as that went out, they canceled all that. You got to put a station on Wyman. But there was a there was a station. Uh, there was a station at Dijon, and there was a station at the airport, and there was a station yeah. at the beach. Yeah, the beach. That, that train's why British Columbia joined the thing is because they had to, in 17, 1876, they had to put that, that the train line from coast to coast to get the BC in. That was one of the agreements. See, see the part down there that was called Grand Trunk, but it, it was part of that coast to coast, see? Yeah. But different different sections had different names, see? So what they did was uh, they went, uh, they went to England and they asked for money to put the train in and they told them no. They said, we're not giving you the money. You can have your own flag and you can have a parliament, you know, but you are going to have to find your own money to uh, to put the train in. So what they did was they created the Indian Lands Act and they created the Indian Act and then they seized all the Indians' assets, all of our money and our, uh, like for our people, the Mohawk people, we had all kinds of bonds. We bought bonds and everybody's government. We had all kind. They seized all those assets, and they used that to finance building the train, and the Erie Canal, and uh, there's a couple of universities. That's what they did. That's how they did that. 
a sure certain water system. But yeah. Oh, yeah. So what happened is uh, they, used to, they used to have to get they used to have to get the license to cross our reserve to all the waterway in uh, Lake Ontario, Lake Ontario on that end in uh, the Bay Quinney to come up into the Bay Quinney. The upper law society is another one. I got your money. Yeah, and then uh, so they got me charged. I got charges on me over that fucking train tracks. Did you own it? And that's what I said. I said, well, because they, they, one of my charges was that I disrupted their access to their property. So I said, well, I sent the lawyers over to the ban office and I said, get the, get the agreement on the on the grand trunk when they first put it in. Get the agreement, what it was. And the fucking bank council, the chief's lawyer won't allow us to have it. So they asked for these things, and they went over there to ask them, and they said, oh, we, we're not going to share that with you, because they said, it'll disrupt our, clan, our land claim. Because they're trying to scam. They're trying <laughs> they to sell the land? No, they're trying to steal the land, mm -hmm. because the land is the Mohawk's land, not elected bank council no. Mohawk's and Bay Quinney Corporation. They're trying to steal the land, and uh, we're in the middle of it. The, I'm sure the lawyers realized Oh, he's got him, right? Because uh, they got me charged with uh, disrupting their property. Well, if I can provide evidence that we, it's our property, there's no charges, is there? No. Except they sued us for uh, 600 and... What the fuck was it? Is this the from Shutdown Canada? Yeah, something like $6 billion. And uh, they're claiming a loss of resource, a loss of uh, revenue. Well, if we own the fucking train tracks and they're claiming in 30 days or 22 days they lost $6 billion, they owe you a pile. They owe us fucking the whole country, don't they? <laughs> right? When uh, my friend Jason Merkel got in trouble a few years back, maybe 10 years ago, they shut down the train for 18 hours. Now, we shut it down for 22 days, but they shut it down for 18 hours and Dick Cheney's lawyers contacted them because Dick Cheney owns... Uh, 52 or 55 percent of CN Rail, and uh, and they sued them, and they said they had lost 200 and 230 million dollars in fucking lost revenue in that 18 hours. That's the amount of money that's turning over every time them train wheels are moving, right? So, so he signed an agreement that he would never go on the train tracks again, and they agreed they wouldn't uh, pursue him out for any money. <clears throat> That's what happened. He wouldn't help us. I had trouble over there. He made a deal. Yeah. And so the bank council's trying to negotiate. They put a land claim in on that land, right where we were. I say, that's our land. But bank council didn't exist when we lost that land. I thought that was uh, hold the, or, um, Six Nations deed there. Well, that's interesting where that is because it says sim sim Six Nations deed, but the older document the older, the actual negotiation is that that area is uh, Mohawk land. Yeah. So if it's Mohawk land, they put a coup government in it to steal the land. It it it, it belongs it, it belongs to the Gunnery Co. You know mm -hmm. you know what that means. It belongs to the Longhouse yeah. Nation. The Gunnery Co. Or, 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 that's Indian. And, and and you know what it, it leaves out which which we have to fight our own that drops out the Christian there's no Christian body involved in any of those treaties mm -hmm. did you realize that well, and, well, and, against the Christian yeah, thing anyway yeah, so. no, no but it may that it doesn't matter either. but see in Akwazasani in Akwazasani if you read your history the, they come up with this seventh nation, and the seventh nation was like they're adding a nation in, and that was supposed to be the Christian nation. <laughs> and, and 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 they never would go for it. The, the 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 Confederacy would never take that that in, and they they had to go around for years and years and finally they, there's there's never been a seventh nation. See, all the nations are original, whether you're a knight and everything, and there's no place for it. Because, see, 
we, we live by our by our nation, the Gunnery Coal. That's why uh, we talk and speak and our, our laws are all in Indian, the Gunnery Coal. See, whether you're on Anida or whatever, Seneca or whatever, the Mohawk, see, that's, see there's no, they was, there's no place for Christian. But that's, but they're, uh, that everybody's Christian. <laughs> Amen. You know, Amen. 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 <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. So we were talking yesterday about something. What if they give us a hard time if we have a lacrosse game on the fucking road? Well, they probably won't like it, but. But isn't that how we settle our difference? Oh, yeah. If we, oh, you mean if we have some issues? Like just, so just block it for like eight game. hours? Yeah, and just play a game and then go home after that. It's, it's a true. We're, we're, their laws, like I always take the turn their law against them. So mm -hmm. their law says that it's, you, we're allowed to settle things the way we settle All things. Right, we'll settle the other way. We don't really need to have issues. We just need to tell them that we're settling something. <laughs> just, just have a lacrosse game. <laughs> well, I'm like, it's, a, it's a hard bite, isn't it? Like, Because yeah. like if you were to go on the tracks and have a lacrosse game, they really don't have the right to stop you, whether you're costing them fucking money or not. No. Or 401. Yeah. But 401's a tough one. Why? Well, because there's so many fucking cars to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard to shut it down, but... Holy I'm telling you, you throw a crossball and the first one about to stop a windshield, that cars are stopped. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And you just tell them, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. That's not, I'm not... This yeah. is a... This is a traditional act. If we want to settle an issue, we we could be arguing over over how much we're going to sell that fucking ounce for. We're going to have a yeah. lacrosse game on the fucking highway here and sell the issue. Yeah. You want to sell it for fifteen ten? I want to sell it for fifteen ninety five. So yeah. we could yeah. we can have an art. We can have our settlement there, and whoever wins the game gets. Yeah. So. So t tell me about the reaction that you've had so far from having your stores open uh, here. Well, people love it. They love it. Uh, we're getting known as the sovereign people. <laughs> see, see, all those railroad tracks, even off, that's on the north side in the 401, they're, they're, they're all there illegal. Because, see, that there's a land surrender, and that land was surrendered for farming. And they, they turn around and they built those railroads on them. Oh, you're talking about the plows deep? And they, 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 ran, and they built the railroad on it and they built the 401 on it. See, on them, on them lands that's sold for far, for farming or, or leased out or uh, for farming, that when you got four inches surface rights, that's all there is on, uh, belongs to the, to, to, to the surrender. All the rest, see, when they dig their ditches and Build them railroads and whatever. It's all. The, the, see, they never got no permission from us. See, all minerals, all minerals underneath those surrendered lands belongs to Tindanaga. Belongs to the nation. So right? four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. That, 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 that's the way they they go, and no, nobody seems to want. See. The band council's got them locked up, you know, all their business is locked up, and they will not let us look at them. No. You they, can't, look, you can't research your own, uh, like anything that's happened 50 years ago, documents and that's, you know, let you look at them. I want to, uh, we, well, the story, we got a 1701 trading post, right, so. We were talking about building a nation, you know, like tax, tax-free stores. It's effectively what's going on here. So I was thinking about, uh, like a way <clears throat> we're talking about even, you know, a way to uh, have some generate revenue that we can use to, you know, to do other projects or, or for the nation, do stuff, right? So I've been thinking about two different things, aspects that we that we can employ help benefit more people and uh, allow us to have uh, the resources we need maybe we're go we'll set up an international port or whatever right? 
So one of them things that we're already kind of doing, it, at least we've got to start it, is uh, the more products and the more um, things that we can uh, use these, these locations as an outlet for people who are making stuff, whether it's fish or deer or moose meat or cannabis plant they're growing or pre-rolls or edibles that they're making maybe or whatever uh, of our all them different nations that are part of the 1701 and that it just uh, acts as a flow for them and so they can make money with it and they can take care of themselves and so we've started that so I'd, I'd like us to to really dig into finding who is making products that we can that we can uh, flow through, right? And then a, it's a trickle back uh, all the way back into the nations, right? All but not just one or two communities, but it could be many. Everybody, 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 everybody right? See what what I'm what I'm saying. What I'm saying overall, like at home and on our, on our, we could have Indian teachers. And this is what I've been I've been saying this for years. We could have Indian teachers on our res and they said oh well it's paid by the federal group they want to i said why not teach them indian because you have french they're teaching french you're teaching two languages it says teach ours ours uh, little kids i said when they could become 10 years old they've converted that themselves haven't they yeah. if you're teach if you're taught at home like just like we are now they when and you teach them indian our school, all our teachers, then they convert themselves before they before they're teenagers, mm -hmm. because they they know both languages, eh? Mm -hmm. So how how hard is that to convert when, 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 to anything in English into Indian you know, or the other way around? We we need to like find a way to make people more motivated to learn the language too. Like I was telling my mom, um, how for job applications it should be bonus that you know an it, Indian you, language. You get paid more money. It yeah, it, it, it should be, it, like see, I like, oh, if you know English and you know uh, uh, French, oh, you can get a better job, you can go do this, you can do that. Well, why you, don't re you don't realize how much line I did to get him going. <laughs> <laughs> I said lie to him. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me it was a certain way, it didn't even wasn't even exist, but that's how I knew it was, so that's what I did. <laughs> no, that's how it is. <laughs> you just willed it into into existence. <laughs> it is. She must learn a lot, your sister. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. But the other one, their younger sister, he can she can talk, and her brother, his brother, they can all talk, because he he yeah. grabbed the day. Eh? I was I was talking about everything in India, eh? <laughs> he used to come. He didn't get along with his stepfather, so he used to come visit me in the next door. <laughs> yeah, we can't lose Ohip because they've got agreements with lots of people. Who say we have a I forget the medicine Medic. the medicine chest. We're entitled to the medicine chest. That's not. That's not, not. Everybody is like I don't have a medicine chest in mind. I get a bundle of. Ah, rope. but this is where the actually you you may be incorrect in that because see once it's been established for me, yeah. then it, it can be said. Well, why why is it established him? Because we're all basically the same people, mm. like the same origins, mm. and you can't take gear Ojibwe, right? Yeah. Well, that Ojibwe's have those treaties. None of their treaties are valid anyway because they took us in segments instead of as nations. And then to steal the land because they couldn't get the whole nation to agree on it. So they get some greedy person that wasn't educated to say, here, sign this agreement for everything. And then that's how, that's how they did it. Yeah. So the 1701 is the only valid piece of paper there is because it's, they've never got those people together to change it. So under under their law, they, and their that uh, that piece of paper has to be honored because they honor the Treaty of Paris, which was signed here, and they still honor that because that's why Saint Pierre and Nicolai are still existing. That's why the French get to do their shit. So they honor that treaty. They got to honor our piece of paper. So just completely wiped out. Just put our three percent. Yeah.
<laughs> so they, I, I don't think they got a, a corner. If we actually fight them the way we should fight them, yeah, and not fight them the way we've been taught to fight them, but fight them the way we should fight them. That's right. We're we're they they don't want to fight. I think that's why they're not here. They're, they're, they don't want to fight as a as a nation. They don't want to go into our. our see, they they got everything on a dog. Everything is screwed up. That's our 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 court, eh? Our court surrounding is all mixed up. That, that, that's what they're that's what they're doing. They're they're uh, they, they want to fight under their new system. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you look at it, if you look at it at a different way, you gotta bring that to, together. You gotta put all those nations together. See, see, and half your nations are said, and like I said before, they're Christianized. They're not. They're not even. Following. They're not even supposed to be on the land if they're Christian. <laughs> no, and but you tell them that, and they'll be ready to fight. <laughs> but see, they, they don't want to fight because they know they're going to lose. Like they don't really want to fight about what. If we go back to where it starts and say this is the way it was, they don't want to go back. They want to go back and say, well, we're going to go back to 1924 when they signed the William Street. Let's fight here. No, no, that's not the place to fight because we're already fucking contaminated. The, the, the words and everything else. Yeah, to be ready now. Yeah, like fight, <clears throat> fight from the way it was originated from. That 1701 is the word to start the fight. I actually, a few years ago, maybe, maybe eight years ago, I talked to a fellow from out there who learned to speak the language from Nottawa. And him and I, he, he spoke a, uh, English, but his French, really bad French accent. And uh, of course, I speak English with a Mohawk accent. Well, we couldn't communicate in English, him and I. We, uh, I couldn't understand him, he said, and he couldn't understand me. So we switched in Indian, I spoke Mohawk, and he spoke Huron, and we could understand each other. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of conversation in, uh, over the phone. Yeah. We couldn't speak English to one another, but we spoke Indian. <laughs> <laughs> he was a scientist. He, he was a scientist, worked for the federal government, and he was talking to me about our corn. And we were talking about uh, gen gen genetics in the corn, and. Uh, it was telling me we had what we had to do to protect it because uh, the um, uh, them companies were trying to uh, were trying to patent uh, d d the DNA strains in our strands in our in our seeds. When we're the ones who did it. But he is telling well, me. Well, it's Yeah, yeah. And we had we had that conversation all in Indian and and uh, here on so close to going to do it. It's closer than uh, the other six nation languages. Oh, here on Tomahawk? Oh, hell yeah. I can't understand uh, Anadaga or, or Kiwa oh, or Seneca, oh, hardly at all. I got yeah. three words, but not, but, but uh, here on, I could understand easy. Yeah, but easy. you understand Anida. Oh, yeah, yeah Anida's easy. Anida's very easy. 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 <laughs> Anida's easy, too, but there, in that Montreal, the word uh, in our language we call that city is Juchjage, and it means where the group divided. Mm -hmm. And as the story is, is that's where the, well, how, Iran's and Mohawks come to be because we are one people and uh, there's a division there and that's how they separate us. And that's why we name that place Jochaga because that's where our two nations were born. Of. We we're one. That's why we all call ourselves Umbahuma. We're all original humans. Yeah. And, and uh, the stragglers of those two different Huron nations, they became absorbed into like at Akwazasne and Hawaga. That's why Gunhawaga and Akwazasne got extra clans. They got more clans than us. They got Rock Clan and they got <coughs> um, Snipe Clan and uh, different things. Rock you know, Clan? Yeah. What is that? They're the Huron Clan. It's a, it, 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 uh, it's a clan, but see, when they, they set with the Mohawks, yeah. and same as the Snipe, yeah. but they have no voice. Yeah. See, yeah. If we're talking. And he he grunts. You gotta shut up. You gotta sit down. <laughs> you're a rock man. Like, yeah, you rock man. You have no voice. All you gotta do is speak, and you have to sit down. Oh, yeah, Same as this night. I got rid of them. See, see, we're born with the voice, see. Yeah. But he he just here he's, he's like a visitor. But he's been here for a hundred years yeah, or thousand yeah, yeah. years. <laughs> but that's the way that is. That's that's an, but the Anadaga. They have a lot. They have eel clan. Yeah. Snipe, you know. Yeah. Deer, beaver. That, that eel clan comes from those Mi'kmaq people. 
Which one? Yeah, you know that place, Eel Ground? There's a there's a Mi'kmaq place called Eel Ground. Uh -huh. That those people had an embassy in Onondaga, and they were there. And then when uh, plagues happened, everybody got divided, and it wasn't easy going back and forth. Those people ended up becoming Onondaga people. They, they didn't have a way to get back and forth home, and so the Onondaga people ended up with the Eel Clan. They came. They started out as Mi'kmaq. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting, bro. The Bear Clan is, a, is a, every. Every Indian, every, every nation, nation or across, I, I don't know any, it all got the bear clan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I gotta get going. We gotta, we gotta keep moving. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry.